Hi, my name is Yeon Seok. I'm an industrial designer for Sustainable Future. Since industrialization, carbon dioxide in the air has continuously increased, and accordingly, Mother Earth is getting warmer. Its impact has pervaded our everyday life. Many people, however, as an individual, feel powerless in the face of such large-scale change. It may require systematic changes across all levels. So that's the reason why millions of people last month took to the streets and demanded urgent action. However, we should admit that our everyday life hasn't changed as much as we demanded. Some of us may presume that, well, we are not the main contributor, but it's industry's fault, or there is nothing much we can do on our hands. Is that really true? Our everyday life can make an impact. According to the World Bank, U.S. household carbon dioxide emissions account for 35% of total, which is larger than the entire industrial sector, which means there is a huge room for our collective action in everyday life to make a real impact. And what we need to do is, not, is, is uh, nothing special. For example, consume less, use less electricity, drive fewer cars, or eat less meat. Making a better decision in daily life, although it, is a sm it starts from small, can make a real tangible impact if we can do this all together. However, here's a real problem. It is hard to implement on a large scale because it may ask you to downsize your lifestyle, which might cause inconvenience in your daily life. So besides those efforts, we do need the other ways to motivate people to take action more voluntarily. What if there is an action that people <laughs> want to do and that action make a positive impact? So I, st oh, so I started to think about designing an effect affirmative action for our environment. And my first attempt is this, an indoor garden table, which provides a dedicated space for your plants. It creates an affirmative action to bring more plants into your everyday life because it allows you to customize your own greenery at home. In the meantime, I came across microalgae and I was literally fascinated by its outstanding benefit for us and our environment. We all know that plants are essential for our planet because it uses CO2 to grow, but you might not know that algae pulls 10 to 50 times as much CO2 as regular plants, which means algae can be even more powerful to fight against global warming. On top of that, algae is a food for a sustainable future. United Nations World Food Conference deemed one type of microalgae, spirulina, <coughs> the most ideal food for humankind because it requires 50 times less water and 300 times less land use than beef for the same amount of protein. Also, it contains more than 65 nutrients from all essential amino acids to antioxidants. At this point, my thoughts arrived at vegans who might need more nutri nutrient-dense diets in our current food system. So I went to one vegan festival in New England, grabbed a bunch of people, and talked about eating algae. And interestingly, many of them responded like, well, uh, is it okay to eat? 
sounds weird or yucky, no matter how I describe its advantage. And I started to become very curious about how such a strong emotional rejection has already been formed in their mind. And I realized that it came from this specific circumstance in which we usually encounter RG, such as stagnant water with a nauseous smell. We call it pond scum. We perceive algae as something like slimy, mossy, or gross, not because of algae themselves, but because of the context. So I started to think, what if the circumstances become more positive? Can we change the perception of algae from something to eliminate to something to embrace? And here's how the coral came to life. The coral is the world's first micro modular microalgae farming system designed for individual use. The coral provides a totally different context of how we meet algae, so it creates a perceptual change, allowing us to welcome microalgae into your daily life. And the coral is the affirmative action for our environment. It enables you to grow this, the most sustainable food at your home as simply as a pot of basil, while it cleans your indoor air in the most efficient way. And the farming process is very simple. Take a one cube, pour the filtered water, added algae food, and a little bit of algae, and that's it. And then put the cube back into the wall and leave it for two weeks. And meanwhile, you will enjoy the beauty of algae growing. As algae drives, each cube turns from transparent to different shade of greens, which creates a unique, beautiful, and ever-changing moment, acting like a living art piece. Two weeks later, once you see this deep dark green color, it's ready to consume. Pluck the cube from the wall, strain the water into a sieve, and then you can just scoop it out. But wait, you may have one more issue. How can algae be integrated into your diet? For now, there are not many algae-specific recipes, so I'm currently collaborating with one chef, Katie Dubris, my dear Dutch-American friends, to provide more enjoyable way to eat algae and to highlight its outstanding health benefit. So I'll take you through five food we made. First, this spilina smoothie bowl, which lower your blood pressure, is a legitimate choice when you get stressed out at your workplace. If you want something more exotic, this kimbap, a Korean sushi, to reduce your cholesterol level is right for you. If you are a real foodie, you can challenge this noodle soup and it will reward you by boosting your immune system. If you want something more familiar, option, this anti-cancel basil pasta is waiting for you. Lastly, this anti-inflammatory White chocolate pudding is your guilty-free dessert. The coral proposes an unprecedented, sustainable way of living. Your daily algae farming practice can be the way to fight against climate change on individual level. However, I'm not arguing that the coral alone can resolve this problem. We still need to go to the street, demand change of the system, and reduce reckless consumption. Nobody will be able to solve this problem on behalf of us unless 
every single of us takes action. <laughs> Climate change is on us, each individual's hand. And the coral will empower you in this journey to make a small but real change for our sustainable future. Thank you.